<sighs> yep, that makes sense. That makes complete sense. Because I accidentally pulled an extra one, so let's put it in the center. If I have to pull clarifiers, I will. All right, so at the center of January, we have the Seven of Wands. So that is, you know, standing up for yourself, for what you believe, even though it's really difficult. And a lot of people don't aren't there on your side. Like, you feel very alone, uh, you know, in your beliefs and what you believe to be true. And, and it's worth fighting for, though. It's worth fighting for. Because in a way, you know, if you don't fight for it, you won't find your happiness. You won't find your celebration. So you're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for what you need to do. Even though people don't get it. People don't get why you're doing what you do. But you're doing it with passion. You're doing it with vigor. And you're doing it with a clear, a clear conscience and a clear heart. Um... And you know that without doing this, if you don't do this, you won't get to where you want to be. So January, January will be, you know, challenging in that regard of, you know, standing up for yourself. But, you know, the, the thing is, is you know what you want to stand up for. And that's huge. You're not just going, well, I don't know. I don't know. If it, should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I just back down? You are very clear. And you're like, no, this is worth it to me. And this is important. And I'm going to fight for it. Because this is my joy. And this will be my future joy. And I'm not going to let anyone take it away. So that's really powerful. In the love area, we do have um, King of Swords, King of Discs, and then the High Priestess uh, reversed. So this is an interesting spread, and I'm actually going to pull pull a clarifier card because I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, hmm, all right. So we have one air sign, one earth sign, and then we have the high priestess, which is um, cancer because it's um, the high priestess is the moon. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Okay, so then the moon comes up. The moon is actually um, ruled by Pisces, but that's, that's, I love it when that happens. Okay, so I do feel like this high priestess is definitely a cancer. Okay, so this is, this is kind of a love triangle here. So Leo, you might be really vibing with somebody, vibing, enjoying someone's presence, but, and, and you're not necessarily with them. You know, you're not dating them, you're not married to them, you don't have a relationship with them, but you want one because it they can just pull out these emotions of yours. And it's kind of confusing to you because it's one moment you feel really connected and then the next moment you're kind of like stepping back going, hey, what just happened? How did I end up here? Where am I? But this this is a feeling of, um, you know, people wanting to get to this high priestess, you know, that, sh you know, she or he is um, the center and you want to know more about them. You're you're intrigued by them and drawn to them. But so so are other people. And there's somebody else who's also intrigued. And so it's going to be kind of like this. um you know, love triangle in a way of like, who's going to get to the high priestess? Now the high priestess is in reverse. So I think she's kind of not, a, she's not, she or he is not aware that, you know, you're, you're interested or the other person's interested. You know, she's kind of working through her own, her own stuff, you know, and she's also kind of going into this emotional web of life, the tides going in and out. But she, um, and, and that's taking a lot of her time. I keep saying she, and that, the only reason why is because it's a high priestess, but it can be a male. Uh, and, and so she just is in like a complete different world than the swords and the disc. And and I really, I, I'm i drawn, Taurus. I mean, actually, Taurus, you are, I'm sorry, I was thinking of Aries for a minute, but this is a Taurus reading. And the Taurus, this is you, king of discs. That is absolutely you. That's an earth sign. So, um, yeah, I think there's there's somebody who is out there, the king of swords, who is air sign. So that's uh, Libra. Um, let me see who, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, and so you're going to have to, you know, step up your game because somebody else is interested. And you know what? I get with the sense, too, of people who are who are 
attached who are married who have a very solid relationship you're still going to be drawn to someone or something and it, it doesn't necessarily have to be like this oh love of my life I must be with them and divorce who I'm with it's just you're intrigued and they're they're playing they're I wanted to say playing with your heart, but they unintentionally, they're playing with your heart. They just have this pull, this, this um, drive. And I'm sorry if you hear pounding right now. They're doing some construction next door, and it's, it's, a, little, um, it's a little loud, so I apologize about that. All right, so then we have the Emperor, and that's love. Now let's move on to career. We have the Emperor, Two of Discs, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so you could be changing locations of job and it could kind of put things out of equilibrium. You know, you could, um, it could be as simple as just changing offices, but it's definitely like a change of pace, a different location. Um, like your, your surrounding, your environment will be somewhat different right now. Uh, and it'll be a quick change. It'll be kind of out of the blue, and you're just going to have to flow with it, you know. And you're, and it could be that you're not excited about it at all. You know, you get the message that you have to do this, and you're just not. That wasn't the plan for January, you know. This is the Knight of Wands reverse, and then we have the Emperor and Two of Pentacles. And it could also be a little expensive. It could be something that you didn't plan for in the finances and it kind of throws things for a loop when it comes to like your budget at work. Uh, but you know, in the long run, the emperor is doing things for the, the embetterment of his kingdom. So this is something that needs to happen to make the kingdom better, to make your space better, to make your job better. So even if it's um, annoying right now and it's cumbersome and you don't want to do it this change the shift is it will will make it better in the long run in finances we have the page of swords two of swords reversed and then the unconscious reversed something is going on financially that you are unaware of you know so if you do stocks and stuff like that I would check them and make sure everything is afloat because there's something that you don't know about that is really affecting financially uh, and you need to know about it and it because you you're, it's going to take you a while to decide how to react to it and what to do yeah and there and somebody's going to let you know somebody's going to let you know that something's up and something's awry and you need to take a look at this or you could lose a lot of money uh, but it's going to take you a while to, de to decide how to react to it because it feels like um, it's pulling you away from your heart space. It's pulling you away from um, your, your gooey center. So financially, and, and we have a lot of swords here. You know, we have two swords and then we have a uh, major arcana. So this is kind of faded. This is big energy. You don't really have a choice of it happening. It will happen. And the only thing that you have the choice about is how to react to it. Um, but I would say you need to decide. Even if you feel... Uh, I wouldn't decide at the beginning of January. I'd wait until the end of January since we have Mercury retrograde. Yeah. But you can't stay in this like dreamy kind of state, this like place where there are no boundaries. And you're like, oh, it'll work out on its own. Taurus, first, I can't even imagine you saying that coming out of your mouth. But you, but in a way, I feel like that is how you're protecting yourself from actually having to do anything with it. It's just being like, ah, oh, what will be, will be. And so then you're kind of l allowing yourself to get off the hook in a way. But you are going to have to do your bull Taurus, make a decision, even if you feel paralyzed with fear over it, because that's what will happen. Something it you will manifest that the the more negative if you just do nothing. So make sure that you do something by the end of January over this financial situation. Uh, I think it's going to be definitely more mental. It's going to be um, like you you just you heard something from somebody about a situation and so now you have to deal with it 
literally mentally you have to like use your mind to come up with a, a decision you can't just like click click something on the computer send some money and that's it you have to actually strategize about how how to solve this problem and then in health we have transformation reversed wheel of fortune upright and then the empress reversed so you need to change something up in your body, in your, your health regime. It's just not working anymore. You know, you're, it's, it's really flows with some of the things that are going on. Um, because we have the wheel of fortune, which is a, a positive card, no matter what in, in my readings, it's expansion. It's, um, you know, taking the good and going forth, you know, with it and making it bigger. However, the Wheel of Fortune can also be taking negative aspects and expanding them too. But the wheel always turns. So that's the beauty is that even if you are in like this, this space where it, it doesn't feel healthy, it doesn't feel good, the wheel will change. The wheel will always change and it's up to you to change it in your favor. But you definitely need to shift up your regime. Like what you're doing is not working anymore. So if you're like always running two miles and then you lift weights for 10 minutes and then you drink your smoothie, it, which is great, it's awesome, but your body is now used to it and it's not doing anything for it. If you always meditate, you know, in the morning and then you have orange juice and then you do a little bit of yoga. It's really, it's, all of those things are fabulous things to do, but, but you're b making it monotonous. And so you're not gaining any extra thing from it because you're just doing it off of muscle memory. So I would suggest shifting it up a little bit, doing something new, um, you know, uh, surprising your body, surprising your muscles, surprising them in a way that, you know, so they don't expect it. Like you're like all of a sudden, instead of doing yoga, you go do like, um, you know, Tai Chi or, you know, take a dance class or do a hardcore cardio something or rather, you know, just change it up. It's time to shift it because things are getting really stagnant and it's turning into like your body is just rejecting what you're doing now and your mind is and your spirit is or like we do this all the time. It's we we're strong enough at that level. You need to push us. So push yourself, Taurus. Okay. Onward. And this is Rainbow Forgiveness. This is such a beautiful card. I love this card so very much. <laughs> okay, so with the rainbow, with forgiveness. Okay, yeah. So, you know, it's like there's nothing overarching that's like somebody's trying to do something bad to you and and so I'm going to say Taurus that when I, I've gotten this card a few times and lately this has always been what it is for for everyone is to forgive yourself okay to forgive yourself for not seeing the situation this financial s situation earlier it's okay divine timing you'll solve it you just have to keep pushing forward forgiveness for you know why do I love this person why you know it's like why why am I choosing them forgiveness know that you you this person has a lesson you need to learn and and it's beautiful divine timing you know think of all of the divine timing like, why doesn't anyone understand why I'm fighting what I'm fighting for? This is my beauty. This is my celebration. You know, forgiveness. Forgiveness. So let's pull up the book and just see what the authors have to say about Rainbow. And I'm just going to read a little bit of it. Okay. When rainbow brightens your day, let go of everything that has come before. Bask in rainbow's heaven-sent color. Let beauty melt away bitterness. Forgiveness embraces the goodness in people rather than starkly fixating on undesirable behavior. When we don't forgive, the bottled up bilious anger festers in our heart and constricts our capacity for joy. <laughs> 